Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven. Family, the portion of scripture we're going to be reading today comes from the book of Proverbs chapter 2 and verse 16 from the New Living Translation and it reads, Wisdom will save you from the immoral woman, from the seductive words of the promiscuous woman. And I also particularly like how the message translation says it and it reads, Wise friends will rescue you from the temptress, the smooth talking seductress. Now, family, isn't this just such a powerful portion of scripture coming from the book of Proverbs, continuing our discussion on wisdom and continuing our learning from wisdom and showing us how wisdom can save us from difficult situations and from difficult people. And I know in this particular instance, it may be speaking about a seductive, sexually immoral woman and I believe that the scripture also applies to men as well. So maybe this message doesn't necessarily apply to you, but I want to encourage you to continue watching, to be encouraged by this message. And if you know somebody who needs to hear this message, I want to encourage you to please share it with them, family, because this message, I believe, is going to be a real blessing to them. So in this instance, the Bible is telling us that wisdom can save us from the sexually immoral men and women that are around us. Unfortunately, in this day and age that we live in, in the society we live in, we live in a very promiscuous society. I'm sure you've all heard the saying, sex sells. And that's exactly how it is, family. Everywhere you go, you drive down the highway, you see billboards of promiscuous photos. You go on the internet, you see it there on your, your Facebook and all that kind of stuff. And it's, it's continuously out there, family. It's the world that we live in and we need wisdom to be able to handle situations like this. And I know that this message applies very much to the young single guys, but it doesn't just apply to the young single guys. It also applies to the older single guys. And the sad thing is that this message even applies to some married men and women family. The temptation is out there. The temptation is real. The promiscuous men and women are out there family. And we need to use the wisdom that God has given us to be able to steer away and stray away from these kinds of people. Because at the end of the day, these people most of the time aren't saved. And if they're not saved, it means the devil is free to use them as he sees fit. And what's he going to do? He's going to use them to try and pull us in and to pull us away from God. Because I'm sure you can all testify to this. Whenever we have in our past committed some form of um, sin, especially a sexual sin, you know, with its nature on and our body, we have a tendency that when we commit sin, that we want to stray away from God because we feel guilt and stuff like that. However, we also know from the word of God that that's not how God wants it, that God loves us. And whenever we sin and slip up, he's calling us back into a relationship with him because he loves us and he forgives us if we choose to turn to him and say, Lord, I've sinned, please forgive me. So family, as a result of this, these kinds of people are sometimes sent our way to pull us away from our relationship with God. And that is why it is so important that we use wisdom so that we don't allow this to happen, family. And that's why I also like the way that the, the message translation says it, because it doesn't just speak about personal wisdom, but it speaks about wise friends. You see, family, it's imperative that as Christians, that we surround ourselves with good and godly friends, because these good and godly friends have a relationship with the Lord and because they have a relationship with the Lord, they also have God's wisdom and the Holy Spirit dwelling within them. And sometimes they can pick up when we are interacting with a man or woman that is promiscuous like this. Or sometimes they can pick up that, you know, we're heading in that direction and they can use that wisdom and the unction of the Holy Spirit to step in and say, hey, bud, this isn't right. This person's not right for you. I can see things going south and they can encourage you in the word of God and encourage you and help you to pull away from those kinds of people. And this is, like I said, for the single people, the young single people, the old, older single people, as well as married men and women family, the, the reality is there. This is, an attempt, this is a temptation that comes from married men and women as well. And we need good and godly friends to help keep us accountable to God and to our spouse as well for those of us who are married family. So it is important that we seek the Lord's wisdom to be able to deal with situations like this, to be able to deal with people like this, to be able to see it beforehand. And it's also important as Christians to have good and godly friends surrounding us to encourage us. Because think about it like this. If our group of friends are worldly and 
are they, they themselves promiscuous, what's going to happen? They're going to see you interacting with this promiscuous woman. They're going to be like, hey, go for it, you know? And, and that's not what we need as Christians. That's why it's so imperative that we have good Christian friends. And if you go and read verse 19 in the message translation, it says, no one who joins her company ever comes back ever sets foot on the path to right living. That's so true, family. When this, these kinds of things happen, it can often pull us off of the path of right living altogether and just begins a downward, downward, downward spiral, family. That's why it's important to seek the Lord's wisdom for this. And that's why it's important to have good and godly friends surrounding us to encourage us, family. And maybe you're listening now and you're in a situation like this. Maybe you're in a relationship with a promiscuous man and woman who's pulled you away from God. I want to encourage you right now and say it is not too late. God still loves you. He's still calling you back to a relationship with you. And he still wants you to come back. All you have to do is make the decision today to say, Lord, forgive me. I'm coming back to you and to cut your ties with that person, family, to come back to the Lord because he loves you so dearly. Do not think that you are too far gone for God. You are never too far gone for God to redeem you. Look at Paul or who was Saul. He was literally killing Christians, but God reached out to him. God touched him. He had an encounter with God and his life turned around. He was not too far gone for God to rescue him. And he, you are not too far gone for God to rescue you, family. I'm telling you that now. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has encouraged you and blessed you. And before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for your wonderful wisdom, Lord. And we pray, Lord, for a fresh new impartation of your wisdom this morning. We pray, Lord, you'll pour out your wisdom upon us to be able to handle every situation we face today and to be able to handle every person that we come into contact with today, Lord. We pray, Lord, for those of us who needed to hear this message, Lord, for those of us who have gone astray and for those of us who are struggling with promiscuous men and women in our lives, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you will give us the wisdom on how to handle the situation and give us the strength to be able Will pull out of the situation or we pray lord that you will draw us nearer into you lord that you will give us a realization and, a, and an encounter with your love lord so that we will come back to you lord and walk on the righteous path that you have for us lord and we thank you lord for your wisdom we thank you lord for your redemption lord and we thank you lord for all that you're going to do and accomplish in our lives and through our lives and we give you alone all the praise the glory and the adoration lord and we pray that as we go into this day lord that you will give us the wisdom and you will bless us and lead us and guide us in everything we do and in everything that we say. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hey there, thanks for watching my video. I trust that this message blessed you and encouraged you and I'd like to ask you to please share the link to this video with your friends and family so that they too may be blessed and encouraged by this message. And don't forget when you're done to please give us a thumbs up, give me a like, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the content of this message. And when you're done, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already and go and follow and like me on all social media platforms to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that I'm getting up to, everything that's happening in the ministry and every time I upload a video just like this one. Thank you, family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless.